What's up everybody, this is Saber and welcome to Star Mage Ship Reviews. Now in case you aren't familiar, this is the series where I take ships from the website, or sometimes I'll have them sent to me by uh, viewers, and then I do a quick review on them. Now the thing about this is though that I've never seen any of these ships, I've never seen videos, I've never seen pictures, I have rarely ever heard about them, usually I try not to hear about them in fact. Uh, and so I'm going in completely blind and doing a quick review aesthetically and over systems as well, and kind of just a overall look at the ship. So that's pretty much the premise of the show. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and do our first ship right now. All right, the first ship of the day is going to be the AED Cougar Jump. And this was created by Mariux. Uh, and as the name seems to apply, it is probably just going to be a jump ship. But I'm seeing some interior in there already. It's a very compact design, but uh, that does not mean it's a bad design. You got some good details in it. Um, I'm trying to think something about it feels like it feels like there's just something missing and I can't quite put my finger on it I th think to be completely honest I think what it is is it's just a little too um I'm gonna say flat but I don't mean like there's no detail I mean flat as in like there's almost no deviations in the side like you do have the cannons up front which is good but I feel like what you need is actually something right in here towards the back so like uh, and I know you've already got details here, so I don't want to like, you know, botch that whole plan of yours, but I feel like it would benefit from having, um, maybe like additional engines that kind of go out and then down and then back in, like in kind of a, kind of a square boxy format. So that way it actually keeps with your, your current design style. Uh, but it just kind of changes it up just a little bit. Um, again, that's just my personal preference, but I, I, I just feel like there's just something missing a, a, a just a little something missing from that maybe add a wingy bit on it too on like on the outside of that engine but yeah i just think it needs to be just a little bit thicker there just feels like there's something missing right in there so anyway that being said though uh there are some good details on here that i'm seeing so kudos for that lots of glass and uh interior space so i'm curious to see what the inside of this thing is going to be like but yeah definitely um it's definitely a purposefully boxy design which is fine because that's that's a style, so that's okay. Um, but it's because he also added the details and stuff that um, that help it kind of balance out. I'm not sure if those need to be wedged or not. That's totally your call. Because it, it kind of looks like it is, was meant to be left like that, but yeah. Anyway, he's got some of his wiring, cabling, piping, whatever you want to call it, in there as well. Um, yeah. What the heck is going on with that? Oh, he's got a... that's interesting. Okay. I was, <laughs> I was thinking it was like caving it anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what this thing has got going on for an interior. Ooh, all right. Got a nice little... got two fighters in here. Very nice. <laughs> they, got, they got sweet little mohawks. I like it. It's a very cute, um, aggressive little fighter. Pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. You got the lights on the front too. Very nice. So uh, as you guys can see, the details continue in here. Which is good. Uh, the style and or color scheme, theme, design theme, whatever you want to call it, is carried in is carried out as well. These are something interesting. What are these things? They are storage pods. Very nice. So it's also okay. Yeah, yeah. So you come in here, you hit that, bam, you got a storage pod. That's pretty cool. Got some, yeah. So it's a uh, it's a freighter at the same time, a freighter with some of its own fighters, which is very cool. Let's go ahead and head down here, and I want to see if I can just kind of work my way through as you're supposed to. If I can find a gravity module, which I do not seem to be able to find. Good walls, though. I will give you that, because it's all it's it's not very flat. It's all uh, broken up with the wedges and all that good stuff. Got some uh, enhancers in there and stuff like that. Pretty sweet. Here's the gravity module, it's very nice, okay. So, going on up, nice. I like the pillar of crystal. Uh, let's go this way first. So we can look into the hangar, very cool. All right, and then somewhere is the way up to that other thing, probably over here. There's the core, nice. Nice, simple way to uh, kind of hang the core. I think the only thing about this though is that uh, I would actually flip that so that we was holding it like down and in the back of it rather than having something that's theoretically obstructing its view. I know that we can see through wedge blocks, so it's fine, but like just, you know, for the kind of idea of it. 
let's see what's over here. Got some computers. I think this is a jump drive. I'm still learning all the new stuff, textures, and I, uh, the sad part is I just made a thing that, like, has every block in the game on it. Ooh, I like, I like that effect. That's pretty cool. Having the wedges and stuff actually makes it look like it's a crystal shape. Pretty sweet. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking the interior on this. Very nice. You're doing a lot with uh, a fairly small amount of space. I'm also a uh, big fan of people who now use the grating inside to actually hide things behind it, like the, your shield systems. It makes the ship seem a little more, I don't know, real, I suppose. Um, a little more like a working ship rather than just, you know, super fancy where everything's hidden and all that kind of stuff. You can actually, you know, see the systems that are, you know, making the ship work. And yeah, I really like the, uh, okay, that was kind of weird. Um, oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got a little gate for the thing. That's cool. I would love to see some logic controls for this, but there's just not enough room in the ship for it. Because then you could have like a whole little, you know, pod thing where you control the gates and stuff. But yeah, like I said, there's just not enough room. And then here we go up to that front window that we saw. Um, I'm sure there's probably systems in back behind this wall. So you can't really put a whole lot of stuff in here. Like I said, he, he's making a lot or make a lot of you making a lot of use of a very small amount of space inside of here because he's obviously got it filled with systems too but oh clever very nice see using the grading to a good advantage all right let's go ahead and head on towards the back see what's back there okay so we're gonna go ahead and go back here first these are probably all crew quarters yes they are everybody's got their own computer you've got mail and their own window which is nice good view and all that kind of good stuff very cool let's go ahead and keep on going back to whatever this room is captain's room maybe no this is the latrine okay so all right who's it for a bath oh just kidding that's probably a toilet or it actually might be a bath um it's so hard to tell with blocks because either that's a toilet, that's a sink, because everybody and their mother does that sinks. Maybe it's just me. I know I do sinks like that. I don't know if everybody does. And then there's a toilet with a handle, I think. All right, yeah, and then I assume a bath or I'm in the toilet, one or the other. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep on heading up and see what is upstairs. I believe I also missed a room downstairs, but if I did, I'll go to that in the build mode. Here we go, here's the bridge. Look at this bridge, pretty nice bridge. Got some nice views. See, that's a pretty cool view. Uh, you could use some wedges on the inside of your winglets, but otherwise it is a good view. Well, I guess it's more of an armor plate, isn't it, than a winglet. Anyway, here we go on up to here. And I totally missed the core room, which is somewhere, but I am glad that I got to see the bridge because these are chairs that I haven't seen before. I haven't seen anybody do chairs like this. Uh, that would really hurt your arms when you rest them on there, but um, <laughs> it's still a cool design. Not bad. All right, let's go ahead and go down and find that core. Which is right there. I'm going down this way, though, because I'm a rebel. This goes outside. <laughs> okay. So, forget that idea. Let's actually go down to the core. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, I was looking for the core, and I already saw the core. I do that a lot. Uh, what is this button going to do? Let's find out. Firing with punch through effect. Cool. I have no idea what the button did though. I must find out what the button did. Button. Button. Where'd you go? Where are you, button? Um, there it is. What does this do? This does, it's right at the door actually. Hang on, let me try this again. No, it's not the door. What does this button do? Oh, people usually label your buttons. <laughs> I've, I've never worried about that rule before, but like, it, having tested this out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's this. It's, um, uh, doors? Oh, landing gear. Landing gear. It's landing gear. Okay, no worries, everybody. I figured it out. It's landing gear. Very nice. Cool. Good job on that. His landing gear is cool. Landing gear is fun. Just don't land on my planet, because then it will get deleted. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and fly this thing around. Try to get in this. There is a bunch of stuff in here. Good grief. 
So we got jump drive, power drain, power supply, cannon, salvage, and missile computer. That is lots of stuff. Yeah, see, it, it just looks too skinny from the uh, from the back end. Just needs just needs a little beefing up there, right towards the back. I think. Again, what do I know? But just just a little something up back there, just to kind of change it up so it's not quite so flat. And I think it could use some some more engines. I think that would be a good way to do it because that uh, that'll kind of balance it out. I do like this camera. That's a cool camera. All right, so let's see. First, uh, we shouldn't be flying around in space with our landing gear up or down. So let's go ahead and retract that because we can. There, look at that. All right. So let's test out the uh, Canon computer on this block right here. That was one volley, which got me about, I'm going to guess six. Just cr random crazy guess. Yeah, more like eight. Eight or nine. All right. Okay, so next weapon is the missile fire. Um, kind of a weak missile, actually. That's kind of surprising. I'm so used to seeing, like, hulks now or uh, all that freaking crazy nonsense where it's just insanely powerful. All right, so let's test out the cannon up here. That's not a cannon. So not the most powerful thing in the world, but uh, it got through it pretty well. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And let's see what this will do to this thingy. To its power. So I can't see its power because of the freaking core overheating message over it. Let's try with this. That's the power supply, my bad. Power drain. Which is not doing much, or I just don't know how this works. Okay, anyway. So uh, I think just for funsies, we will go ahead and power this thing up and see where it'll take us. See how fast it charges. It's actually charging decently quickly. Not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and kind of sign out of this particular ship with a little bit of a jump into warp drive, or jump drive, sorry. So here we go, activating jump. Okay, so the next ship is the USF Barracuda. So it's very green, <laughs> as if that wasn't immediately obvious. Uh, looks like it's... a uh, like strictly turret ship which is interesting oh okay here's the cockpit i was worried the cockpit was just nowhere to be found but it's way up here in the front pretty cool all right so it's a uh a style that i haven't really seen before i like your wingy bits on the bottom those are pretty nice uh the only thing that because i like that style i i kind of wish they were in more places not all over the place i'm thinking maybe like two more uh, maybe, like, maybe sticking off of the sides back here, off either side, or maybe towards the front, I don't know, but because I, like, that's a style that I haven't seen anybody use, um, you know, I'd like to see it used a little more on the ship. Like I said, not a ton, you don't want to overdo it, but, uh, at least a little more, so that's pretty cool. Um, it, fairly small <laughs> compared to, you know, most of the ships I do, which is okay. Uh, good strategic ribbon as opposed to everywhere on your ship it is in limited areas like on the shielding there and inside of there and then kind of some minor stuff up here um, so good job um, restraining yourself with that I guess would be a good way to put it because a lot of people just go nuts with it and it's not good nice engine design as well up here you got the uh, kind of center in it and then here as well so yeah definitely a nice build I am liking this one so far. So let's go ahead and head up here and see what the interior has to hold because I think it will actually have some stuff in here. Hopefully some pretty good stuff. All right, so I got my gravity here. Got some nice, uh, again, somebody using the mesh. Excellent job on that. And here we go, inside. Um, ping pong table? This is a really nice table, by the way. I have not seen anybody do 
uh, a table like that. So excellent job on that. Um, I'm just guessing a ping pong table because it's got like this net quote unquote thing here, uh, which who wouldn't want ping pong in their, their interior. Now, the only thing that I do have to say about this is that this floor looks really uncomfortable because <laughs> like if you're walking around in your ship, especially in like a, a lounge area kind of like this, you know, I, I think you'd want to, you know, walk around barefoot or, you know, in socks or whatever, not in your big clump and space boots. So I don't know if you'd want to walk on wire mesh like this. Um, I do like your details that you have here, but I think for like, at least over like in the areas where you don't have your details underneath, uh, I think you could do just normal hull. That would probably be fine. But yeah, good job on all the tables or on all the furniture rather. Let's see what this does. Um, did that just open? No, nice skylight though. I do like that. I have no idea what, to, oh, wait, 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 it did a thing. What? What's the thing it's doing? What's the thing? <laughs> I don't know the thing. Um, what's the thing? Okay, I, I, I don't know. And it may be a mystery forever. I, I don't know what I did. So that stops it. Okay, anybody else confused? Because I am, oh yeah, I really like the skylight. Got green glass in there. Very nice, I do like it. So let's go ahead and head on back here. And it looks like, okay, more door. Oh, nice, access to your turrets. Excellent, not enough people do that. At least in my opinion, because I think it's really cool when you get to do that, because then it's like, hey, my friends that are hanging out with me and they have lots of room to hang out, let's go, you know, go get in the turrets. Let's go hunt down some pirates. And so then you can have all your friends hop into the, I think that's what the light did, or the, the button. I could be wrong, but I think. Uh, so, you know, then you can have all your friends just uh, hunting down pirates. So here's the core room, very nice. Wait a second, weren't those just blinking the other way? Maybe they're not, okay. I thought they were going like in sequence before, but I guess not. So uh, even though I didn't go to the bridge, I'm just gonna fly up there in build mode. Because I know there's a good chair up there, because I saw it. But yeah, I really like how this is all kind of sectioned off. Whoa, what just happened? That was weird, sorry about that. Uh, it's going back to the core, isn't it? Yeah, okay, here we go. So in here we have some more doors to nothing. Not even, oh, well, never mind, that's the main one. So this is probably the quarters, yep. Yeah, again, I don't know, like I do like the mesh, but you, you don't want to overdo it, because again, I think that would be super uncomfortable, or at least uh, that's my opinion. What do I know? Uh, very nice cockpit. Oh, oh, wait, what's he got here? Union Starfleet works, got all of his stats on here. Thrusters, nominal. All right, then. Very cool. Now, if only we could make it so that you could update that stuff with logic. So, pretty sweet. Too bad you can't see in front of you. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, well, you can't. There's a camera. I'm just messing with him. Nice chair, though. Very nice chair. Yeah, definitely a nice bridge slash cockpit. Uh, looks like he's got some more stuff. <laughs> Very nice. Ship diagnostics. Yeah, really, really good, uh, good design. I actually, um, I can't think of much. The only thing was like the, uh, adding some more, uh, of that style of wingy bits. And that's the technical term coined by Delmont, in case you guys don't know. Uh, and then maybe take out a little bit of the, uh, the mesh and replace it just with a hole. But other than that, even the uh, the plain, like the plain gray walls, they work because he you know he changes it up with the wedges and stuff, so it doesn't look as flat. So I'm okay with that even. Although I think some areas would work to kind of highlight, like these corners. I think would be cool to have green, um, you know, just kind of bring out a little bit of color in inside. But you know, other than that, like I said, the wedges do most of the work for you. So let's go ahead and give this thing a little bit of a test run. So it's got overdrive, damage beam, and jump drive, and a ton of turrets. Okay, so here's the bad news. I don't think uh, these turrets actually have uh, AI modules, so it's all meant to be human controlled, I believe. I didn't find an AI module in it, and it won't activate, so I'm just gonna have to uh, test out the main weapons then. Sorry about all that wait for nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and test out the damage beam computer. Try out this thing. Uh, about 20% of the shields, which is 10,000 shields, in case I didn't mention that. 
and it's a fairly decent recharge rate, I think, for like a for a laser that's that powerful. Uh, if you had uh, turrets going at the same time, it'd probably be tearing it up pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what kind of penetration this thing gets. So I have no idea with a with a beam what it's gonna actually be. So that was one burst of the beam, and it went maybe ten blocks in, something about like that. Yeah, six ish, six or seven. But yeah, overall though, I do like the aesthetics of the ship. Um, like I said, there were like two, maybe three things that could be improved slightly, but overall, it's uh, it's really nice looking. Hey, there's the blinky lights. Um, <laughs> so definitely pretty sweet. A uh, a good ship. Looking forward to seeing what other stuff Air 7 Man can do. So that being said, let's test out this jump drive thingy. See how long this takes to charge. Looks like it's a little slower than the last ship, um, but I'll do a quick warp in this one and then I'll jump straight into the final ship of the day. All right, and the last ship of the day is going to be the Lightning Class Light Frigate which uh, looks like it is quite light, <laughs> given its uh, stature and size. Uh, interesting color scheme. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen anybody use a lot of whites and purples together, let alone throwing in some splash of gray, too. Uh, overall, not bad. I'll be honest, though, it, it is a little plain. Um, I mean, it, you're, you've done a good job with the wedging, getting the form of it down, but I feel like it could still use... Uh, a little bit more, especially back here on the sides, because that that just seems like a spot where you know you would either drag out some wings, or you know have something that's kind of kind of break up the the shape of it. Because right now it's just kind of a bullet, um, so I feel like it could definitely use some sort of either wings or engines or something back there to kind of help break it up. Um, you know, make it a little less uh, a little less streamlined actually, because uh, right now it's just like I said, it's basically just a bullet at this point. It's a decent white purple gray bullet <laughs> but uh yeah overall not too shabby uh, i'm gonna go ahead and try and hop right in the interior and we'll see what this thing can do All right, so very bright inside, which is totally okay by me. Looks like somebody else has figured out how to drag those over. Um, probably not intentionally. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose so, I think. Because yeah, that's, uh, well, if you're gonna do that though, I think you should just go ahead and drag it down. Because you kind of got that seam there between the two monitors, but. Anyway, so that's uh, something interesting about the display modules that happens. Ooh, very purple back here. Let's go ahead and check out this purple goodness. Got some... Oh, shoot, what is this thing? I forget. Uh, it's one of the new ones. Um, uh, it's not a push or a stop. Ah, uh, shoot, I'll just have to hop in the thing and figure it out. Oh, it's got a... Wait, this thing has an AI module? What? That's interesting. What is it? It's a damage beam. Wait, is it a damage beam? What was the... Uh... Oh, I thought that was... Okay, I totally thought that was something else then. Never mind. Okay, so um, yeah, let's just go ahead and give this thing a shot. It is totally packed solid. So that's good. Should pack a decent punch and be pretty quick then, I hope. So let's go ahead and try that out. Looks like we got a jump drive, cannon, and a missile. So let's see what it can do. This is a little bit long with a fairly high mass, so it doesn't turn super well, but uh, we'll see what kind of a punch it packs. Lots of cameras in this thing and uh, not a whole lot of view change with each one of them. I was kind of hoping for one that's basically right up front, not necessarily completely up front, but you know, pretty close. Uh, so two slow cannons, actually. 
Uh, they pack a pretty good wallop, though. That was... Okay, yeah. So, yeah, two very powerful cannons. But the problem, though, is that with only two cannons and firing as slow as they do, it's you're not going to get as much... Uh, like it's going to take you a lot longer to get through holes because you're not putting out as many rounds, so you're not damaging as many blocks. Uh, you're just causing more damage. And I, I can't see the... Uh... No, here we go. So it's got a cannon and then a punch-through effect. So I suppose that should help some, but still it's uh, quite a bit less quick. Um, it, it's quite a bit slower than a more rapid-fire weapon would be. Anyway, let's go ahead and test out the missiles on that same shield target. See what they can do. Hopefully they'll incinerate it. Uh, like so. Well, for the most part, still some of it left. So, okay, that has been the Lightning Class Light Frigate. And it is a very, very light frigate. So let's go ahead and charge up this jump module and we're going to jump on out of the video. Just because jumping is awesome. Uh, and I, in case you guys don't know, and I haven't done this yet myself, but I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Uh, but you can, again, as far as I understand, uh, edit your, your server config for your single player or if you run a server, you can do that to actually lengthen the amount of time you're in the warp tunnel thing. So that could be a cool thing that you might want to uh, consider doing because I definitely want to do it because it is really sweet when you do the jump, but it, it's, it's such a short amount of time that it's like, I don't know, you don't really get the really cool effect. So anyway, this thing's all charged. Let's go ahead and head out of here. All right, here we go. So uh, I'd like to say thanks to, to everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe because I do pretty much one of these a week. Uh, roughly, it's been a couple, couple days past, uh, past due, if you will. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I do try and do these pretty often, uh, and then I do a bunch of other videos too, uh, mostly Star Made, but I do some other videos which I try to get time for, but I just don't really get as much time as I want. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Have a good one.